I would say that open access came about because we recognized that we were having wait lists of six to nine months and sometimes more. And I've been a firm believer, you know, I've been at For All Seasons for 10 years and our leadership team has really been a firm believer alongside of me that if nothing changes, nothing changes. And we couldn't expect different results for our community if we didn't change our model. And, and so we knew that if we could change the way that our agency operated, we may be able to serve more people. And now when we look at open access and the way that we are able to bring folks in, we don't have a wait list and we've totally revamped all of the ways that our agency works to be able to say to the community, there's a growing need and we're able to be here as a part of the provider community to help meet that need. Um, we moved all of our clinicians to centralized scheduling, so it required us to really build up our client services team. So instead of our therapist being responsible for scheduling appointments with clients, we now have a centralized scheduling system. It required us to bring in a director of practice operations. It required us to bring in case managers so that they could be assisting with the onboarding process. Our billing team is now directly involved in the onboarding process. So it was really revamping our entire operation so that when we get folks in, it's not, hi, I need services, and they're told, we'll call you back because there's the wait. Now it's, you can walk in and meet with our team that morning. The difference with open access is that when you walk in, we have set hours each day where we have open access time. And so you come in and if I'm coming in, then I would meet with you as our billing specialist and our case manager are there. They meet with the client and you see a therapist and have a mental health assessment that day. If you need psychiatry services, you're connected then to our psychiatry team within 10 days. And when you think about the psychiatry shortage that we have just on the shore but across the country to be able to know that you can be referred to a psychiatry team member within 10 days is something that's never happened here before. Where we have limited number of spaces. We open that up both in office or telehealth. That's the other piece of open access is it's not just you have to come to the Easton location. You can also receive a telehealth appointment so in that first hour, you meet with a case manager who does all of your intake paperwork. You meet with the billing department so we can get billing set up and or get the financial assistance in place. And then the second hour of the appointment is a mental health assessment with our licensed professional counselor or social worker. Um, but this was an 18 month project working with a national consulting firm. And we are one of 500 agencies in the country implementing open access. You know, we are a rural setting. You know, we are doing things that you would see in large metropolitan areas, but bringing them to our rural community. You know, I've had a couple of um, community members reach out to me directly and when they're having a family member struggle. And the feedback that I get back is what an amazing opportunity for me to be able to take care of my child's needs. It's given me the ability to take a breath and we know that services are there. And, you know, I always say therapy is like finding a good pair of shoes. You have to find the right fit. Our hope is that with this open access process, people are finding that fit sooner than later.